Hello and hello and welcome to uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? The Improvisation Show, which tonight features Britain's favourite American, Mike McShane, then London's funniest suburb, Paul Merton, uh, next this show's most worried newcomer, Steve Steen, and finally his long-term performing partner, Jim Sweeney. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, all right, OK, OK, we've got to... This is, we've got, a, we've got a lot to get through tonight. Now, the first game we play is called Film and Theatre Styles. They're breaking to two pairs of two for this. Uh, Stephen Jim, first of all, can you, you come down? I'll give you a situation to act in in just a moment. Uh, first of all, can we have some theatrical or filmic styles for them to break into? Gilbert and Sullivan. Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, yes, that's good stuff. <laughs> Any more? Sorry? TV game show. TV game show. Well, they're, they're in that. <laughs> Sorry? Ealing comedy. Ealing comedy, yeah. Any more from... And there's a satirical one TV advert there, because uh, you're in most of them. So let's, um, <laughs> let's do your situation, which is one of you is interviewing a suspect at the scene of a crime. OK, no style at first, and then I'll give you some. Come on, crack, George. I know you've done this job. You've got blood all over your hands. Yeah, well, of course I've got blood all over my hands. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I work down a slaughterhouse, don't I? Uh, like, all, most of the day, and, and that's what I was doing. You've got an axe in your back pocket, George. Yeah, well, we, you know, uh, it's been very cold these days, and, and the cows, I mean, they kind of get through the meat. Okay, TV game show. Okay, they're going to get through the meat. What else was there? Meat, meat, no, there was meat. meat. There was meat, there was bones. <laughs> meat, there was bones, there was bones, there was bones. There was bones. Bones. There was bones. 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 Gristle, gristle, gristle. There was gristle, there was gristle. There was a lot of blood, a lot of blood, a lot of blood. There was a tail, a tail, a lot of tail, a lot of tail, a lot of tail. There was giblets, giblets. Okay, okay, um, let's make it easy for you then. Gilbert and Sullivan. I fully suspect you did this crime. I know you did it, son. Yes, you're the only one. Yes, you are definitely the only one. You killed this man and several others, including two of my brothers. I'm taking you down to the knee because you make me sick, sick, sick. <laughs> okay. Um... All right, let's. <laughs> Let's do a I thought, I thought I'd save the voice on that one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what for, though? Uh, it's a uh, <laughs> TV advert. Hello, George. Yes. Oh, look at all that blood on your hands. How are you going to get that off? I don't know, you know. <laughs> and the worst part of it, I've got this blunt axe as well. Just what am I going to do? Well, we can help you with new. Clean the blood off and sharpen up the axo. God! <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's in there. You can... That's... You can get off now, you scallywags. Uh, yes. I think that's quite the best film and theatre styles you've done tonight, so that's 52 points each. Uh, now, with Mike and Paul, uh, one for you in a second. Any more styles for them, please? Newsreels. Uh, there was newsreels and I think porno, actually, which is well, Mike and Paul, an odd combination for that, but some people have odd tastes. Public information film, that was very clear. 3D. 3D, oh, that's a great one. Carry on, just. You've, all right, I'm carrying on. Just a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'm throwing in one because there's one I'm dying to see Mike do. It's a Roman epic. Uh, so, now, what's your um, uh, situation? You're giving each other presents. And away you go. And this is for you. Oh, man, this is great. Thank you. And this is for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, it, it's been great, and you deserve the best. So oh, that's wonderful. Like it. Oh, it's... I may regret this. Porno. <laughs> Does it come with a pump? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's one here. Exactly. Let me put up a lace teddy. <laughs> so nice. Oh, she's lovely. You take her from the front? <laughs> uh, she's huge! Oh, yes, yeah, she's <laughs> massive! Yes! Does it come with batteries? <laughs> I don't want to see that. Um, <laughs> let's go into a 3D film. Here! Turn her towards the front! Oh, wow! <laughs> 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 I'm going to have another look at those, I think. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's a Roman... a Roman epic. Scrocus Elongatus! Yes! Is this your wench you've taken from the Carpathians? <laughs> this is the wench indeed. She is mine and mine alone. Nay, I will have her. I, I, Testiculus Mongatus, <laughs> will enjoy her! <laughs> Well, yes. all right then, but I, do, I reserve the right to have her for bank holiday weekends. I will have her. All right, let's uh, send on a public information film. Now, remember, bank holiday weekends are very dangerous if you're out driving in a car. So if you are going to go out driving, why not leave the car at home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you plan on spending those bank holiday weekends with a huge inflatable love monkey doll, 
Make sure that you have an adequate amount of lubrication and you keep both hands on the wheel. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's end there. Uh, well, I don't know. That's, uh, let's give 19 points to that. Now let's do a game called uh, News Report. It's quite a complicated game, but it features uh, Jim and Mike as presenter and expert. You've got to pretend you're in a television studio. Shouldn't be too difficult, I wouldn't have thought. Um, and then Paul, you're over there as a reporter. And uh, Steve, you're with him, and you've got to play uh, any of the parts that should crop up in this programme. What we've set up here is a news programme, uh, but we want to make it about a nursery rhyme. This is a topic this news programme is dealing with. So can you think of a nursery rhyme like Humpty Dumpty, Little Bo Peep? Bar Bar Black Sheep. Bar Bar Black Sheep. No, 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 I'm quite happy with Bar Bar Black Sheep. Anyway, uh, when the news report music starts, then begin the improvisation. Good evening, Dave Smug with News Report, and a flash item just come through. Apparently, yes, three bags of wool, sir. What do you think about this, day? They're out there now. You know a lot about sheep. What do you think is going on? I think it's the work of the famous Bob Bob Black Sheep. The Black Sheep's from terror ranks in the counties all over the United Kingdom. He's been leaving three bags of wool for people indiscriminately and causing much terror for people who don't like cutting and sweaters. Well, thanks so much. You're lucky enough to have our roving reporter, Paul Merton, out there. Paul, I believe you have the little boy who lives down the lane with you. <laughs> Little boy, were you surprised to find yourself a recipient of one of these bags of wool? Are you my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Back to you in the studio. Well, an interesting turn up there. Uh, this has never happened before. Do you think there is going to be more wool in the market? Uh, I think there's one the master, one for the dame, and one for that little squirt who lives down the lane. Fair enough. I'll go back to you now, Paul. I believe you have one of the sheep with you. Yes. Um, what, what exactly is the reason behind giving this wool to the master, the dame, and a little boy down the lane? Well, quite frankly, we see it as something that we've got to do from time to time. There's obviously a lot of people out there who are shivering in this kind of weather. But let's face it, the black sheep produce far more wool than any other sheep. It's up to them to kind of help the community. That's what we feel. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thanks so much, everybody here. Well, there we are then. Three bags full. So join us tomorrow. Little Miss Muffet, the spider's viewpoint. Good night. <laughs> OK, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, three bags of points everywhere on that one. Now we go into a game called Translation. This is going to feature Steve Steen. He's going to uh, lecture us in the language of a foreign country. And to help us out, uh, Paul is going to translate it uh, into English for us. So, um, which country would you like this to be set in? Albania. 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 OK, that's Albania. Always a popular country to have lectures about. And which aspect of Albanian life would we like uh, described? Shopping. Clive Anderson. There's nobody called Clive Anderson. Television we had. Television? You happy with television? Yeah. Just because you happen to know the Albanian for television, you're, <laughs> you're cheating this one. Okay, so describe uh, Albanian television. Where you go, Steve? Uh, Good evening, everybody. I'm very pleased to be here in your wonderful country. <laughs> How can I best describe to you the wonders of Albanian television? Oh, <laughs> It's rubbish. <laughs> but when I say it's rubbish, let me be a bit, bit more specific than that. It's more than rubbish. It's crap. Oh! <laughs> oh, I can hear you say throwing your arms up in amazement. Surely now Albanian television is as bad as that. Well, let me tell you, we have Postman Pat on every night at half past six in the evening. <laughs> but because of several cutbacks... That's uh, good idea. Postman Pat isn't even in it. <laughs> but what else can I tell you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> We do get quite a lot of Shirley Bassey. <laughs> okay, that's on there. Thank you very much. Very mm. good. Yes. Right. Uh, I rather, I rather like the sound of Albanian television. At least it didn't have Beatles about in it. Now.